Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to lock and unlock levels um, as the player progresses in the game. This is one of the most common issues that people have uh, with their game. They get their game all done and then they get to the menu and they realize how do I unlock and lock the levels. So I'm going to cover that today. Um, it's been covered before but I'm um, just doing an updated video on this and I've created um, I guess a kind of a sample game here I have the splash screen I have the menu and then I have you know level one level two and so on okay so we're gonna go to the menu here now you're gonna be able to go to gshelper.com and download this file so you can pick it apart and stuff um, but for now just um, you know watch the video follow along that way I have uh, six levels here, um, and obviously the first one's always going to be unlocked. Um, so there's a few things we need to set up here. Um, these are just blank actors, nothing in them yet. So the first thing I do is I go into game attributes and I create two index attributes. Okay, and the reason why they're index attributes is because they're whole numbers. Um, they'll never go into negative. It's just one, two, three, four, no decimals, no nothing. So index is what we use. I'm going to call this one Unlocked Level. And this is so we can keep track of what level is in fact unlocked up till. And then this one we're going to call Current Level. So we can keep track of what level the player is actually on. And we'll put that to 1. And the Unlock Level is 1 because we want Level 1 to be unlocked. Now we're going to go into... Um, I guess I don't need this actor here. Okay, so we have our unlocked circle there. Um, I'm going to go into this actor, and I'm going to create a self attribute. And again, it will be index. And we're going to call this, what level am I? And I'm going to change that to 1. Now I'm going to go into each of these and change it to its appropriate number. So this is the level 2 button. I'm going to switch that to 2. Switch that to three, and so on, till you have all your levels done. And one more. There we go. Oop. Okay. So now each one of these buttons knows what level it is. Okay. And so we're going to go in here, and we're going to create a rule, and we'll say when touch is pressed change oh, sorry change scene two and this is level one button so level one now when I go in and press preview I click select it it goes to level one um, obviously all these buttons will do that right now they'll all go to level one um, at the end what we'll do is we'll go back and unlock them and tell them what scene to go to uh, properly. Uh, but we don't want to unlock them yet because we want them to keep getting the rules uh, that we keep adding here. So when touch is pressed, um, it goes to the scene. But we want it to also check to make sure that the level is in fact unlocked. So we're going to hit the plus sign here and we're going to say also if attribute game unlocked level is equal or greater than self what level am I so now you'll see when I hit preview it's gonna go into my splash screen then here now I can't click two I can't click three I can't click four five or six but I can click one still and that is because I'll go here that's because on un uh, unlock level is set to one so in our rule here we say if unlock level is equal or greater than what level am I so if you're level 2 and unlock level is 1 it's not equal or greater so therefore you can't go into it okay now we're going to create a new um, a new rule here um, grab rule and we're going to say if attribute game unlock level is greater than self what level am I we're gonna change image now rather than use the change image behavior I just go to the images and I just drag it in 
So we'll change that image. And then we're going to say otherwise, we'll use the unlocked image. So when I preview now, you'll see it goes here. Now you'll see that all these levels are now locked. Um, because again, what level am I is not, um, it, it's, it's not uh, greater than. So as you see here, we say we game unlock level is not equal to, oh, sorry, game unlock level is not equal. It should be, um, yeah, it should be um, uh, less than, I believe. Let's just hit preview, make sure. Yeah, they're still locked. Okay, so if it's less than, um, so if unlock level is one and these are two, three, four, five, these will all be locked. There we go. Okay, so we can still go to one as you can see. Um, so we have that covered now. Um, the next thing we need to do is go to the levels and tell them to unlock the levels once you beat them. So I usually have an actor, you know, called Round Rules or something that checks to see if the level is in fact complete. Um, because I don't have a, a proper game set up here, we're just going to create a, a button. And I got my button here, and I'm going to say... Um, Oh, sorry, that's uh, another actor for the other screen. So I'll just create a new button here. Call it unlock. Okay. So in your game, you're going you're gonna to say, you know, if the game is complete, change attribute. But I'm going to use uh, when touch is pressed. Okay, so when touch is pressed, we're going to change attribute. I'm going to change game, unlock level, to, and we really need to know what um, what level to change it to, and um, we have to set up basically uh, a system in order to um, know what level you're on, and we have here current level, and current level is one. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is in your in your rules, again, I use a rule called round rules. Um, but for instance, we're just going to do it here. So I'm on level one. I'm going to say change attribute. And I'm going to change game current level to one. And I have that right up top. There's no rule in it. So it instantly fires as soon as the round is played. Okay. So now we have when touch is pressed, change attribute game unlock level two. And we're going to go game current level plus one. So if you're on level one, it's going to change it to two. If you're on level two, it's going to change it to three. And so on and so on and so on. Now what we want to do is we want to save this. Okay, so we're going to use save attribute. And we're going to save game unlock level. And we're going to use a key. I just do same as the attribute unlock level. Now you don't want to have the same attribute before we unlock it because then it will save the old setting. So we want to go underneath, um, underneath after we changed it. So now that we've saved this attribute, we're not quite finished. Um, let's go to, um, I guess one thing here we want to do is just for the sake of showing you what's going on, we'll go uh, change scene to next scene. So once it's once it's changed the unlock level and then saved it, we'll go to the next scene. So I'll hit preview. We're going to go to level one. I'm going to go to level two. Now I'm going to go back to the menu, and you'll notice this is now unlocked. Can't click on these ones, but I can click on this one. It's only it's going to take me back to one, but that's only because we haven't changed that stuff yet. Okay, so now it goes to the next scene, but there's still an issue, uh, and I'll show you here. Let's see if I can show you. We're going to go to level 1, unlock it. Um, oh, I didn't put the buttons in here. Um, but let's go back to... Uh, no, let's go in here. Let's go to scene 2. And we'll use that button again. And I'm going to open it up. Um, and I'm going to change this current level to 2. Um, there's actually a better way to do this. Let's do this. Revert prototype. And what we'll do is we're going to go into our round rules, and we're going to create a self attribute, and we'll call it index, and we'll call it what level am I, 
and this is level one. So rather than having to unlock um, your actor in each level, we can do it this way. We can change current level to self, what level am I? Okay, so now when I go into scene two, I can go into this actor, and rather than unlock it, I can just change this to two. Okay, and then we'll go into scene three, and I'll drag this actor on, open it, three, let's go into four, drag it on, open it, four, and two more of them left, five, I'm just going to save this here just in case, open it up, Oh, it's already five. And last one, we'll go to six. Change that to six. All right, so let's hit preview here, make sure everything's working good. So level one, unlock two, unlock three, unlock four. Now I'm gonna go to the menu. So now you can see we've unlocked one, two, three, four. I can't go to five or six. Well, there's a problem. Let's go back to level one. And I'm gonna unlock to two, and now go back to the menu. You're going to notice 3 and 4 are locked again, even though you've already unlocked them. And this is a common issue. A lot of people have this issue, and I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. We're going to go back, and we're going to go into our unlock actor, and we have when touch is pressed, change. So if we, we unlock all the levels, then we go back to level 3. Well, it's just going to change it to 4 again, which means everything after that is locked. So what we need to do is hit the plus sign here, and we got to say, so if touch is pressed... Um, actually, let's not do that. Let's take um, our unlocked um, this stuff here and create a rule. So we're going to have a rule. If touch is pressed, it can change the scene because we have completed. But for unlocking, we're going to say if attribute um, self dot uh, what level am I is equal to game unlocked level. So the only time it's going to change the unlocked level attribute is if you're actually playing the highest level that's unlocked. So now when I hit preview, we'll go in here, first one's locked, unlocked, go to it, beat 3, beat 4, uh, beat 5, let's go back to the menu, so you see they're all unlocked, we'll go back to 1, we'll beat 2, we'll beat 3, now go back to the menu, and still we're unlocked to 5. Now it will not unlock anything, uh, change the unlock, unless it's on the level that's currently the highest unlocked. So let's go to 5, we'll beat 6, and now we'll go back here and you'll see all our levels are now unlocked. So the only thing left to do now is hit home, go in here, and we have to, since our buttons are done, we're happy with them, we go in, unlock it, and say change to level 2, unlock it, change to level 3 level 4 level 5 and level 6 now we'll hit preview and can't go to 2, can't go to 3, but we'll go to 1 unlock it, hit back to menu and now if I hit 3 it'll now go to three. So, we're almost done. One last thing we need to do. Let's go home and go to the very first scene, which is usually your splash scene. You want to make it a scene before the menu, and we need to add a rule. So this is our, I believe that's actor one, yeah. This is our little splash image. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the load attribute, and we're gonna load game unlocked level with the key, oh, oh, sorry, the key is first, let me do that again, key, unlocked, level, attribute, game, unlocked level. So it's going to take from our save and put the attribute back 
where it was. So that way, if, if you have like 20 levels unlocked and then you start the game again, um, it, it's going to load that save attribute to make sure that the player still has those 20 levels unlocked. If you don't do this, then when the player closes the game and opens it again, all the levels will be relocked. Um, and the biggest thing to do is make sure that your key is correct. So I'm just going to go and verify um, in here. We got save, and it's not unlock level, not unlocked level. Best thing to do is copy that. Control C, go into our actor, go in here and paste it. Control V. Make sure it's exactly the same. And that is it. That's all you need to know about locking and unlocking levels in uh, Game Salad. I hope you enjoy. Head on over to gshelper.com. You can download this demo file, play with it, do what you want with it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.